when you're out in the field doing repairs, if you need to be touching that fence, you want to know that it's off. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So a question I get often asked is technology and the homestead. What do you guys use? How does it apply to you? And what does it do to make your life easier? We have found one piece of technology that's super cool and it's not a lot of money. You can get this off of Amazon. We'll put a link below in it. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow the things that we have because we're showing you how to homestead, how to farm, and how to do all those things a little bit easier and with solutions that have worked for us. So let's jump into what we're using today and what we use every day here at the farm. Hey guys, it's Josh with Hartway Farms. We are a family of eight. We have six kids. We homeschool, we homestead. We go over uh, solutions here at the farm. We do a bunch of stuff as far as homesteading, baking, gardening, cooking from scratch, storing food up, and all those things homestead related. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out. So most all of us carry around a smartphone. And on my smartphone, I have smart plugs. And we have smart plugs hooked up to different pieces of technology that we use at the farm. One of those pieces of technology is our electric fence. You don't wanna be shocked by 10,000 volts of electricity in an accident, and when you're all the way out at the back of your property, you don't have to come all the way up back up to the barn to shut off your fence. And I certainly don't wanna go buy a $2,500 energizer or charger for my fence because of it has one feature. It has an, uh, a little remote with it but I still have to have that remote with it too. So the beautiful thing is, is you can get a smart plug, jump on Amazon or your favorite store that you wanna to go to, and you buy smart plugs. I buy these by the four pack, link below, um, just to give you guys easy access to them and know what, the, what I'm talking about here. You hook them up, they connect to your Wi-Fi, and anywhere that you have cell service or phone service, you can turn your fence on and off with a click of a button. It's got a side button on it so you can physically turn it on and off here, but then it's also got the device on the phone um, that you can remote into it and shut it off. So I'm gonna show you real quick how we use it here for our fence. I'm gonna take you into the barn, into the cobwebby area, and, uh, and get you a little bit of a tutorial of that real quick, along with our loud sheep. Another cool project while I'm walking in here, <laughs> we had to put a new door. So I grabbed a used steel door that we had on hand. We put it up on here. We threw a latch on it. And these here critters don't push the steel door. Cause it's kind of hard for them to dig through the steel door there. So let's get in here real quick. The fence has already been shut off so I don't accidentally zap myself. And I'm gonna show you right here. So we have the Cyclops Brute um, Energizer. And you can see on my plug right up here that we've got plugged into it. That's the smart plug right there. So having that smart plug plugged into my outlet up there and then plugged into my energizer gives me 100% remote control from a distance of my system. And I'm telling you right now, if you go do a quick Google search, you jump on the internet and you do uh, some research to get a energizer that has a remote with it or has these features to it that are built into it, they're expensive. And this is a way that you can get an energizer. I love, personally, I love the um, the Cyclops uh, Tyler, uh, I think it's by Taylor Fence, yeah. It's the Taylor Fence uh, Cyclops Brute is what we use. It's a super basic uh, energizer. It just does what it's supposed to do. Um, it has a couple fuses on it so you can service it in the field yourself um, if it has an issue with it. Their customer service has been awesome. And it is the energizer that we like to use as of right now. I haven't, we have, we've messed with a couple different ones, um, but I like these a lot. So I can throw a couple links down there for you guys so you can see them. Um, this is an eight joule output, and then it has the 10 joules of stored energy. Uh, you hook it up to your ground rods, you hook it up to your fence, and the animals stay inside of it because it keeps the fence nice and hot. So that's one of the solutions with technology that we use here at our homestead. Uh, a solution that we have found that actually works. We use this thing all the time. You can put the same app on multiple different phones. That's another beautiful thing. So not just one person has a remote control. You can all see if the fence is on or off. If you leave to go on vacation <laughs> and accidentally like, all right, man, is the fence on or off? You can jump on there and you can see, is it green? Is it on or is it is it dark? Is it off? So love this as a solution. It's super straightforward. It's like you can get a pack of four of them. 
You can hook them into different devices on your homestead, and that way you have complete remote control use at your farm or your homestead to have access to shutting your fence on and off. So when you're out in the field doing repairs, if a limb is over it that you need to touch the fence for, if there's an insulator out of place, whatever the case is, um, if you need to be touching that fence, you wanna know that it's off. <laughs> Quick tip of the day for using technology for your homestead and your fencing. Have a good one, guys.